Good morning, guys. Somebody give me a sound check. Let me know if you hear me okay. Good morning, good morning. Um, everybody seeing the screen? Let me see. Oh no, we're not seeing the screen yet. We should be seeing the screen and share. Okay. Everybody seeing the screen now? Okay. Okay. Great. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, uh, okay. Still a little bit under the weather, uh, but uh, uh, feeling a lot better. Today, I'm going to just uh, continue what we we're doing before, which is I'm not going to make any trades. We're going to. I'm just going to narrate um, any trades that we possibly have, um, and show you a couple of interesting ideas that. Uh, that I've explored while you know while we've been away since uh, since last Friday in terms of um, a way to really pack a punch in some of these trades. Um, right now, right now as I'm looking, uh, the Nas had a big sell off. We have a retrace um, a dip signal here that's essentially failing because uh you know if you were to go market at this point you'd, you'd definitely be stopped out um and and that's typical of uh early market uh the first half hour of market opening because remember the single uh worst scenario for us as far as charts go is a sharp v-shaped rebound right just to serve a sharp v, you know a v-shaped rebound because uh, our whole strategy is to do down retrace continuation. If you get a V-shape, which is a complete reversal, um, the continuation trades are just not going to work. So at this point, this doesn't look like it's going to be an interesting trade to take. But um, I'm kind of I'm watching it carefully because there's still a little bit of a potential here for if, if we get a if it does turn red. It, it's not a classic buy sell structure, but it would still fail effectively um, to the downside. Um, and it might be it might be an interesting possible sell here. I'm just gonna I'm keeping an eye on it to see you know or to see if the uh, if the candle be, turns red. If it doesn't, you know the next candle that's gonna be out. If that turns red, that might be an interesting short. If it doesn't, then we're already at this point. Um, if this candle stays green, we're effectively changed a trend already. So there's no trade to the short side at all. Um, on uh, on the Dow, um, I don't know why this is this is showing this thing. Uh, I have to. I have an updated version of the indicator. Oh, this is starting to, to show red a little bit now. It's starting to uh, to come in. I want to watch this. Um, Let's go. Let's actually let's see if I can put it into sell mode here. Um, and if it, if it will hold the sell mode, because it might be this might be an interesting fill. Although as you can see, it's really really fighting. It you really need you need a strong close on the candle. The candle right now is clearly not um, um, not moving. Oh, what did I say? I said I'm not going to trade because this thing doesn't execute right. So let no okay it doesn't matter not not really a trade here because the candle was although it would have worked uh, it was just too not strong enough on on the closing so no really no real trades here leave this alone this looks like it's going it's going back up um, into into a positive trend um, Dow is having a third dip inside the uh, uh, the moving averages. 
So at this point, it's, it's pretty dated. But I'm keeping an eye on this as well, because we'll see maybe that'll be, and that might be a trade uh, to the upside as well. Um, Um, just keeping an eye on, on everything. Um, if this if this candle stays positive, it's not really a classic setup of ours, but I, I really I, I like this trade here. I wonder if I, I'm just curious. I'm just curious if, if this is working now. Let me just hang on. I'm just curious if this is if if I can do a buy. Oh yeah, it is working. All right. Let's give this a float. Let's see if this stays. And I want to see if I can make five on this. Oh, oh, it's not. Oh, that's right. It won't even let, it won't give me five on this. All right. Well, let's now I'm curious. Let's just see if we can stay on 10 on, on, 10 on this. This is going to bring up the, the, the subject that I really want to discuss with you anyway. So it's fine. So now I guess it's not. Uh, we'll see. It, I, I, I got a little bit too ahead of myself. I really wanted to see this thing end green, but it is ending green, which is the right trade to be in. And let's see if this extends a little bit. To the upside. I'm basically trying to catch the change in trend a little bit early. I'm going to take nine here. That's good. Um, so this is not a classic trade, but and and now now it's finally sending us a um, uh, you know a, a big peer signal. But this dovetails with something that I um, that I kind of uh, uh, realized is really the, the 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 true value of the short term scalp, um, which I wanted to. To just take a few minutes to discuss with you. So I'm just uh, there's no there's no clear setups here. The the Dow, um, we, you know we could try to trade the dip in a Dow here, but as I said, this is the third or the fourth dip, so I'm far less um, um, attracted to that. Um, the, the the Nas actually is working really really well, uh, going a full going a full ten. Um, anybody take the Nas at all? Yeah, um, and now it's now it's making fresh highs. It's really, it's really bouncing. It's now starting starting to to uh, put in a possibly a fresh trend. The Dow is actually uh, very haphazardly pushing forward uh, to the upside. So we'll uh, we'll leave the Dow alone. But what I was going to say is the following. Um, um, what I was going to say is the following. Oops, why is this not working? Huh, okay. I'm getting shadows. That's weird. Okay. Getting shadows on the thing. Um, okay, so a couple of things that that we sort of uh, discovered, and Daniel and I are still working on the um, on the algo. There's, there's, there were still bugs in the uh, in the execution and even in the um, 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 in the indicator itself, I'm going to post. I'm going to post the very latest indicator. It's going to be 1.0, um, and I suggest you guys download that one because that's hopefully going to be the, the the best code that we have for the indicator. And, and then the the algo itself um, looks like we might have the final version now. 
but I have to see, you know, we just, we just have to test it for another, another 24 hours. But regardless of that, what I wanted to kind of show you is, um, hang on a second, let me show, let me show this to you on, um, on the futures. So, you know, on the futures, I'm basically trading 10 stop, um, six target, right? Just trying to squeeze as much target as possible. And, 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 and the way I'm trading this is actually you can't, this one is not showing it for some reason. Hang on. Let me see something. Let me see why this is not doing it. Sometimes the, um, I just want to show this to you clearly. Let's see if we're going to search false and then properties true. Let's see if I can reset. Sometimes when you reset it, it works. Yeah, okay. Um, so the way, the logic that I'm running on, um, uh, on the retrace trade, which is really the only trade that I'm trading right now, because that that is the one trade that tested really well. Um, what's interesting, you guys gonna be not surprised, is that it tested uh, much better on the long side than it did on the short side, right? In other words, uh, if we tr if one of the things that we have we're gonna have in the in the algo is the ability to trade all long only short only or both sides of the market. So it could only take you know one side or the other. In NASDAQ, there is such such a strong skew to the long side that the long trades um, are much more profitable than the short trades on the, on the same setup. There's actually, I actually have a different setup for the short side than I do for the long side. But regardless, um, the, the basic setup that I have is we have to have break of the uh, top three candles. So we have to have a, you know, a, a breakout signal. Then after that, I want to see a retrace. Um, you know, uh, and generally there was two types of retraces that I that I can do. I, I can do a retrace that's going to be higher than than this than this level. So like somewhere over here or somewhere over here, I could take those retraces, or um, I could make it uh, so it doesn't have to be higher in level. All I can the only condition I need is just a breakout condition trend and then a retrace um, in the move. Then after that, um, my long condition is once I have a retrace, I want to have a, a buy sell a buy sell condition. So I have to have a red green candle, um, you know, and it, and it uh, you know, pops itself up. Um, so actually, now I'm just looking at this. Why did this didn't, this actually, this actually uh, did not follow my conditions. As I'm just, I'm just looking at this. This actually was too early. Okay, this trade, this trade is a classic proper trade. Again, now I have to go look at this. Now, Daniel, Daniel sorry guys, we have to keep trying to figure out why the logic is uh, um, uh, is as is. It's, it's it seems to be taking trades a little. This trade worked, but it tr took a trade way too early um, on this condition. But anyways, this is a proper condition. So you have the condition, you have the retrace, and then you have the uh, the breakout. But the interesting thing is that when you look at a lot of these, and I'll, sh I'll show you a couple of, you know, here's, a, here's, a, here's another one, condition, retrace, breakout. You know, you guys can see this, right? You, you can see um, um, the, uh, the arrows, right? I, I, I'm trying to, I'm gonna make it a little bigger here for you. Right, you guys can see all of this? Okay, so you know, okay, condition break out this. Now, what's interesting about this, and this is this is where I think the on the on, on the long term, by the way, on long term, like one hour charts, even fifteen minute charts, this stuff works great. And the interesting thing is, the longer the charts to go, like if you go to one hour charts or longer, both the longs and the shorts really perform well. But in the very on the very very short time frame, the super short time frame where we are, we're scalping, only the longs work super well the shorts are a lot more problematic a lot more problematic um, on the trade okay so that's the caveat but i was gonna say but on the when you're looking at the super short-term time frame one interesting that really struck me that was just you know 
right away struck me as, as, as a condition is that when the trade works, it really works for 20 points. Like it is a good, there's really only three conditions. Trade fails, trade works modestly, and then trade works really well. Now that the trade works really well is actually a much more frequent condition than you could imagine, especially, and this is the key thing, in, with the way I have configured this thing where all I really need is the breakout of trend as a confirmation and then the, the first retrace I can find. We even have, I even have a condition here where it doesn't even have to go into the moving averages as long as it comes in like within a, a one point of the moving averages, like we're gonna four, you know, four ticks, like in other words, the low is super, super close to the moving averages. I wanna be early into the trade as long as I can get a buy sell condition that is uh, you know, a reversal back up to the upside, um, I'm happy to, uh, to take it. But what I really, you know, what I started to realize is that the real money, the real profit in all of this is, is to have a two exit strategy where you have a short exit and a long exit. Because if you do the short exit, long exit structure, it's amazing at how many um, long exits there are in every one of these uh, trades. So let's just, you know, if I was just to, 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 to go back with you, um, just in the overnight session, right? So like, let's just stay, this is just overnight session trades, right? So breakout condition, retrace, buy, sell. So like just sort of, you can see the logic of a breakout condition. Then we have, um, you know, retraces down into the zone, you get, a, you get an arrow. Then we need to have a buy, sell con condition. And by the way, I only allow myself like, four candles. If it doesn't happen, if I don't get a buy, sell, or excuse me, sell, uh, uh, sorry, sell, buy, this, this, this is red, green. If I don't get, if I don't get a red, green condition within, within three or four candles of the, of the uh, uh, golden arrow, I'm done. I, I, the, 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 there's no trade. So breakout, golden arrow, red, green condition. I get long on the close of the green, which is right, right over here, right? And, um, you know, I guess it dips a little bit against me. And then, you know, it goes for, for, for plus six. But if you, um, and then it, let me see what this, this extends it. What was this? The, the closest is 30, right? So in this case, what you would do is you would trade short exit plus six and then long exit plus 20 with a, with a, with a move to break even the moment, the moment you make a take profit. So if I make a take profit here, I move my stop to break even over here, right? Doesn't extend. So I'm essentially at plus six, right? Then we go to the next, um, long example over here, um, fails. So plus six minus 20, because remember you have to, you have to, you have to have, you know, two conditions. So plus six minus 20 fails. Um, and this is by the way, all, these are all legitimate conditions. So breakout candle, retrace into the, into the zone, uh, green buy condition. I get long here. It just doesn't have any continuation. It's a typical of, of Asia overnight session. Sometimes it just, you know, dies out. Right. Uh, a little bit longer, we get a second setup. Breakout condition, retrace condition, um, red, green, right? This, this is, this, this is the, uh, the entry. So plus six, but now, but now I have a second, second target of plus 20. This goes to plus 20, boom, plus 20. So now I'm 26 on this segment. I'm plus six, minus 20, plus 26, right? Then you keep going. Um, over here, um, and um, this actually should have been a trade. It, 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 there was a there's a flaw in the, in the um, in the indicator, so it, it it failed. So this again minus twenty. So plus six, minus twenty, plus twenty six, minus twenty. So minus forty, plus um, thirty two. Right. Then over here, plus six, plus twenty six. So now I'm thirty two plus 26, that's 50, um, uh, 58, and against minus 40. Now I have another condition, another, 20, another 26 points. So now it's 58, so it's 78 plus six is um, 84 minus 40, so now I'm plus 44, right? Right, now I have a third entry over here that is plus six plus 26, right? You can see that, you know, I'm making, um, although no, I take it back. I'm sorry. This one, this one would just be plus six because this one plus six, my entries over here would have stopped me out. So plus six. So 84 plus six 
is 90 uh, against 20, um, you know, 20 on the uh, um, on the thing. And so you can see uh, it's against 40. So you have you, you can see how um, yes, um, Boris is, is correct at, at, at isolating the key variable that I'm trying to to to, to just uh, find, which is retrace quickly after the breakout. Um, that's what I really want um, on the move here. Um, and then of course, you know, um, what you don't want to happen, I mean, we, we basically have, we'll have to see, well, you, the reason why I have a buy sell condition, as you can see, is because what you don't want is a, is a full V-shaped uh, move all the way to the downside. I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid this scenario as much as possible. So I'm not taking any trade that is, uh, uh, that's not going to be green. Um, that's not going to give me a green, you know, retrace back up. Uh, let's see how much time is left here. Uh, 27, 28 seconds. So we'll see. Maybe this, this maybe this candle starts green. This is, this is a much more problematic trade uh, because we, you, we, you want this shallow retraces. A deep retrace is already, is already um, a sign of trouble uh, for, uh, for the setup. But uh, we'll have to see this actually, this could actually trigger us into a trade. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if the, uh, if the algo takes me in. Actually, this is, we'll see if the algo is working. Because again, the, nope, it's not working. There you go. So that should have been a trade and that should have been long. So again, it's not taking trades. So we're having issues uh, with the algo. Okay, I will, uh, um, I'll speak to Daniel, but, but this, this, this would have been, a, so like right now, he came in at let's see what this this opened at uh, one hundred four seventy five, um, and actually uh, one hundred four seventy five. I'm looking for six, so it didn't quite go to one hundred nine seventy five. It needs to go to one to one one ten seventy five to make the first target. So let's see if this holds. I'm actually, curious. And this is a good, you know, it's a good example of where you have such a deep, deep retrace, the chance of it really working becomes less, um, less likely. But it's holding in there, it's holding in there, it's holding in there, um, holding bid. And it looks like it's gonna, yeah, it, it looked like it would have made, give me plus six. So it would have been plus six on this, right? And now again, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the break even. Let's see, let's see if it works. And it looks like it's, it would have just broken me even. So. At very, you know, very minimum, this gave you a plus six also um, on a on a really problematic setup. It 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 it, it definitely was a uh, um, a weak setup here. Um, now, you know, the other way to consider this, the other way to consider this, is to essentially sacrifice sacrifice the first. Um, Profit. Um, and I don't know if I would do it in this case, but you, you know, the other, the other way to trade this is instead of don't go to break even, um, stay, stay at minus 10, right? So stay at minus 10, let this second, second leg breathe. Basically pay uh, for the first leg with a, with, a, with a plus six profit. Let the second leg breathe. Um, don't, you know, don't let it stop, stop you out. And then, then basically your, your variance is Minus four, uh, minus twenty, plus twenty six. Um, had I, you know, had we done that in this condition, um, the, so the, so we had, you know, we had two cases where we we get clear stop outs, which was which was minus twenty, um, and then we had one case which was plus six, and two cases which were plus six. One of them would have been minus four. The other one would have been twenty six. So it's really, you know, it really pays off. To, to try to milk that second trade. So just to understand, for this to hit plus 20, I needed to go to 24 and we're at 17, 18, okay? So if this goes to 24, um, then I would have another 26 points on this particular trade. I'm 22, 23, I don't know, I don't know how high this went. 2325. Just just miss me by 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 a point. Let's see if it goes. It needs to go to 2425. 
we'll see. But you know, you guys get the idea of how a, you know a two two entry structure on these short um, setups can be really really valuable. You know, it could really really work for you. So you know, this this unfortunately looks like it, it's going to. Um, well, you know, we the thing about this is you came in within one point. You try to bank. Um, uh, you know, 16, 17 points instead of the full 20 points. If you're gonna, if you're gonna manually interfere, do you let if the if the algo is trading, you kind of let it just hang, and you really have to uh, accept the fact that you you could have lost you know 22 points and and wound up with a minus four win just to just to get consistency because you really want you want those winners to be consistent. But um, I think it's you know it's possible this thing can go to 24 still. So we've got to give it just breathing space. Remember. We have a stop over here, so we have lots of, we, have, we give ourselves this trade a lot of room at this point. It's 21, 22, 20, trying to see if it, it just needs, needs to push to 24, just barely. Uh, it's a lot easier when you're not looking at it. <laughs> um, I, if it was, you know, if I was trading this, I probably would have taken the profits here, but you could, but the point is that you could see, um, you can see how with a, with a two two exit structure, um, we we take the setup that is just you know small profit, high accuracy, and make it into a high profit, um, less accuracy but a much much bigger profit. Like you know you just you, you have a much higher sense of profitability. Um, we have a, a double double uh, TP uh, tool. Yes, it's in the and there's there is a there's a double TP tool in the session box. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can pull it out. I'm just uh, I'm just curious. We, you know, we have a little time. I can actually show it to you. Um, hang on a sec. Let me see if I can find it. Just looking to see if there's anything you know any more setups for us. And uh, now, you know, I mean, this, this was the trade. This was, this was the good trade. This was the good two, you know, two exit trade. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if I can find, it should be in the Dropbox proprietary. Uh, where's the two? Swing trade where? I'm trying to figure out where, where it's at. Uh, I know we had it. Uh, if I, I I know I have it in somewhere in my thing, I'll have to um, I'll have to look, and we'll um, uh, we'll get around to it. There's definitely there's definitely a double um, a double exit session tool that we need to just find. Um, so I will, um, I'll find it for you guys. I'll find it for you guys. Um, anyways. Okay. So, you know, it's interesting, right? I mean, it's interesting to kind of watch this on a, um, uh, on a full scale basis. Um, but you're absolutely right that what you want to do is you want the early, you know, you want to catch the, er the earliest possible retrace that then confirms itself. Oh, so now I, I, I sort of wanted to show you what my um, uh, what my issues are for 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 the short side. Now the short side, 
the way I would trade the short side is sort of a similar idea. We want the breakout signal, we want the retrace signal, but on the short side, I don't really wait for the, uh, for the buy sell confirm. I, I just go market. Um, and you can see that if you go, if you go, so here's, you know, the reason why you want to go market is because the short retraces are short. Like they don't, the, the upside extends, the downside just retraces quite. I guess that's sort of, a, does everybody understand what I'm saying? That in a, NASDAQ is such a highly, um, Scrassy, what are you saying? That there'll be a double TP with one stop loss because I think with double stop loss would be better. The stop loss is adjustable. Like you can adjust it to, um, um, like you can you can adjust it to, you know, break even or to uh, to not break even. So it's totally adjustable. Um. Anyways, um, what I was saying what I was saying is on on the short side, the short retraces are very shallow. Um, the long side extends. It like you know, this Nasdaq always likes to extend. Like obviously, Nasdaq will sometimes have very big short sell-offs, but they the short sell-offs are much less frequent than the long uptrends. Does everybody does everybody understand what I'm saying there? And because it's it's such a bias to the upside, especially on on, on an intraday basis, um, the, the 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 buy side needs a con can can take a confirmation. And it works well with confirmation and so on and so forth. The short side, you kind of you just have to go blindly. You have to say, okay, I get a signal. Excuse me, just one second. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Um, I get a signal. I'm going to get short. So like this was a signal that I, that I took on the short side that were you know the work the work to the downside worked perfectly fine. Um, so you know you have. Um, let me just go. Why is this not working? Oh. I can't move this further. For some reason, it's not moving further. Okay, here it is. So, you know, here's another good example where you just, you know, you, you kind of just take, you know, close your eyes and get short. So you get short over here. Um, this word, this goes against you a little bit. It's It closes at 47. The high here is 51, not, not a lot. And then it just drops like a stone. Um, the short side doesn't give you a chance for confirmation. The long side is always good for, you know, you can go long and then you get a confirmation. And there's plenty of, it just extends much more. You see how like the short side is, is, is maybe 10 points. The long side is at least 20 points. It's that skew that constantly repeats itself that makes the short side uh, much less um, profitable and you gotta be much quicker on it. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, and you know, and now, now we're going right back down. So now, now we're doing the, you know, back to the, uh, back to the V-shaped moves, um, you know, but that's basically, um, that's basically the key condition that you want to, that you want to focus on. Uh, where's this? I want to go to my, uh, like this. Okay. Um, So Dow's, Dow's now got a very, very sharp um, downtrend. And the trade now for the Dow for me would be is if it comes into the retrace, I would try to you know just sell it short at market if I get a short signal here. That'd be the only thing that I have going right now um, that's working. And same thing with, with, the, uh, um, with the NASDAQ. Um, so you know we're deep, deep, deep into the sell-off at this point. Not much, um, uh, not much opportunity for us unless you you want to just do chase trades. 
uh, which we don't want to do anymore. NASDAQ really extending the uh, Dow is really extending the move to the downside here. But um, the basic idea is everybody is everybody clear on retrace the you know the, the long variant the short variant um, the possibility of of, of a double uh, you know double long exit all those things Th those things are all those things are all uh, really valuable um, but I'm gonna find the uh, the double the double applet we definitely have a double applet um, I don't know if we have a double applet with a buy sell mode I have to I have to see. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll make one if, if, if we don't have it. Um, but, uh, we definitely have a double applet where it's, where it's two cell mode and we can, we can try and do that tomorrow. Uh, once I find it in the thing, just, uh, actually just let me look at my other computer. Let me just see if I can find it there. Yeah, I definitely have a two X session tool. Um, I'm actually, let me. Uh, let me uh, transfer that over. Just one sec, guys. I'm 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 trying on my other computer. So I just I just transferred over the uh, uh, the session tool. Wow, look at the Dow just just completely collapsing. Let me see if we can find it. No, I can't find it. No, I I'm gonna have to do this um, after class. Oh, I'm in Zip Trader. Sorry. Okay, tools. It's maybe it's in the session tool. Yeah, here's a two X one. I'm gonna download this just to show you how it works. Uh, we don't have any setups in the markets anyway, so we have time. So we're going to go to try X. Uh, I think this does everything actually. Yeah. Oh, I set it, I set it up on the, on the Dow. Okay. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's, let's play with a Dow. So this has like a, like a double entry, double exit, um, structure, right? So I don't know. Let's just, let's just think the Dow is going to bounce. So this takes, No, what's going on over here? Sorry, this isn't the tool. What's going on over here? Where's my session? Hang on a second. I'm gonna put this. Is this this isn't the tool? Session tool two. Yes. 
Okay, let's just just default. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I was like, this is the wrong tool. Okay, default. So let's just say I'm gonna buy this. I just just for arguments. Again, I'm just just playing. So, and the first target. Let's just kind of mimic ourselves. The first target would be six, right? And let's see if uh, if the if the if it actually works for us. I mean, it's, it's, I'm basically I'm specking that this is the bottom, which is which it isn't, but we'll see. Just, just this is just all for demo purposes, just to show you how to how to, the two the two exit structure works. Uh, it's not going to work on uh, so far. It's it's going against me. Um, actually, let me put this on the uh, um, on the other one too. on this chart. Huh, it seems like they're frozen. My uh, my Dow feed seems to have been frozen for some reason. It just died. Okay. Um, all right. It's um, so far it's not working. It's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can if I can demo it again. I mean, if this is this working finally? Okay. Dow Dow feed is finally working. Okay. So let's just buy on the Dow here. Uh, but on the Dow, we'll use a forty stop just for argument's sake. Just you know, uh, for this thing. And the first take profit should be 10. Okay, so now it actually did not take. Okay, so now, now it's um, it took me out at plus 10. A second take profit should be 20. Um, and the, and the, the stop is at break even, but I could actually put the stop. I believe I can put the stop at um, 20 if I wanted to. Uh, and that puts uh, that puts my stop back. You know, I think it puts me. Yeah, it puts it puts my stop back and lets me lets me float in the trade. Um, you know, which way I want. You can you can set it up in the back you know, in the background um, of the thing. Oh, so actually, look, my um, this thing is working. This went to break even now, and here we go. So the stop is should be ten actually, right? If I'm using ten stops, whatever. Um, you can see, so the, you know, this um, popped back up, made the first six. Um, I'm still, you know, net positive in the trade, but I'm floating it. Here's my stop, and I'm looking for a 20, you know, takeout. And looks like my looks like my Dow did a two exit structure also. So you know, you could you could really see how a two exit structure um, works really really well on uh, on maximizing the uh, the trade. Everybody see this? So, you know, this isn't, obviously this isn't our setup. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll close this out. There we go. Um, for, you know, for the trade, but, you know, the concept is, is sort of super interesting where you have a short exit, the short exit basically buys you, um, you know, buys you protection because because it allows you to stay in the trade longer, and then you have the uh, you know the long exit. Um, and now we have we actually have a retrace candle setting up in uh, um, in uh, on the short side. And as I said, you know the shorts have to uh, you have to just get blind here. You have to. I'm actually well now it's not setting up, so it's yeah. Now we have to see. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. I should have I should have sold this over here. Oh no, no, I didn't miss it. It's a, a short candle is here. It wasn't a short candle. So this becomes a short candle now.
I have 30 seconds on it. Okay, I'm, I'm going short and basically naked, you know, and again, remember that with this, um, let's see if I can get six. You know, it, it, as I said, shorts, shorts retrace really, really fast and they can go, you know, they can go against you really badly. So this, you know, this, this may not work, which my whole point is that the short trades are far less, um, far less accurate than long trades because both because of the V-shaped bounces um, and also because of the shorter um, retraces. But going in blind here, at least we're at a relatively decent price. So we can see if, uh, if this will work at least for the, you know, for the short target. Um, and my other point is that I guess you, you, it's really hard to do the, the short target, long target on the, on the shorter side because you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get, get nearly as many extensions. Um, so, you know, we'll see. You can really see when you're trading this the battle of the market um, between the you know the longs and the shorts how they you know they try to hold it. It looks like it looks like the uh, um, uh, that that's all she wrote for the short side for the sellers. Sellers can't really bring it down again. Well, we'll stay we'll stay a little bit patient here. Dow has a short uh, signal here too, like 25, 26 seconds. So we can, you know, we can play that as well, um, assuming it completes, assuming it holds. All right, so I so sold the Dow here at market also just to see, just out of curiosity to see if this will, um, will give us a short, uh, short exit here. So the Dow works for six. Um, and now I think I, I wanna go to break even, I, I guess. I don't even know how to do break even. So I put a stop at like four, tight. Um, NAS is still fighting it. So NAS is really, really fighting. The Dow actually, the Dow is as a, um, doesn't have the kind of um, huge upside bias that the NAS has and the shorts in the Dow work a little bit better, you know? You can see the NAS, the, the shorts are really problematic, but in the Dow, the shorts, you know, when you get that signal, it works a little bit better. Now we can just maybe, I don't know, take it for 10. Let's see if I can just, uh, my TP2 would be, well, actually I'll just close it out. I was trying to get it for 10. Okay, so that's good. So basically it gave us like, like 14 in the Dow, right? 14 in the Dow um, on, the, on the two exit structure. Um, in this way, and you know the NAS is just uh, just going to be floating. I think I'm just going to I'm just going to close the NAS out here for 
for uh, uh, no further damage. Although it may it may collapse on us eventually. But again, um, trading the you know the two exit structure, you guys can kind of see, especially on the short side. You, you can see that that if you're trading market, you generally get good entry because because remember you're 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 selling the buy candle, right? Selling the buy candle. Now the buy candle gets rolled over rolled over in NASDAQ a lot, but in, in, in Dow, it's definitely a decent pause candle. Um, still doesn't really extend quite a lot, but you know, with the, with the Dow, you can, make, you can make less points on that. And it worked on the, uh, Jonathan says it worked on the ES. It de definitely does work on the ES as well. Um, I just, you know, we just, because, because everybody's on CFDs, we use the Dow um, on the move. Um, anyways, that's, um, that's it guys. I, th those, those are the tricks that I wanted to show you today. The, the applet is in the um, is in the thing. Let's actually, you know what? Let's look at this. Uh, I got to look at the uh, properties of this thing because uh, let's just make sure that we got everything in there. I don't even know what the hell we have in there. Um, oh, this is just a straight. So this is just a straight up buy sell set stop stop level to break even on take profit is true. You can set that to false. Okay, this is just a straight up, you know, buy sell applet, which is fine. Got to close cancel button. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely uh, serviceable for what we need, which is all you really want. Um, so, um, so that's the story there. Um, NAS is doing one um, interesting thing, which I which I like um, on the reversal side. So what it's what it's doing is it's taking out um, it's taking out the the slow SMA, right? It, it, it did a short sell, slow SMA, and then you have a sell buy combo right over here. Like this is a structure I, I really really like uh, when that happens because I really I think I generally think it's 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 an early indicator to the turn. So it's something that we can just play for one more time. Just, just we got two seconds. I'll go long. So I'll go long with this thing with a six target, um, and see if we can just get the short target, and then you know we'll let it float. Maybe, maybe it'll be a turn trade. Uh, we'll see. Um, it's a little extended, but maybe it'll be a turn trade. I have to make it a five target because of the spreads. Let's see if I can make it a five target. So it's not an official trade of our cannon, but I, I always I always like this setup because um, remember the whole idea in all of this stuff is to be early, right? Um, early is what gets you the the edge. Early, of course, can also give means that you could be wrong, but the point is to be early uh, on the right side of the market. So we're kind of moving, moving, moving. It's just teasing me on the, on the spreads here. Let's see if we can do five. Oh, it's really teasing me here. What's my entry? It's 10, seven, so it needs five, seven. Yeah, eh, just missed me. What was the high on this thing? Five, four, just missed me by, by three tenths of a of a pip on the spreads, but whatever. We'll uh, we'll see. Let's be patient. There you go. Should it, that so it gets me down to six. Now my stop. Let's just make the stop at ten at this point. So okay. So I've. Um, and now we're starting to really, really rock and roll, right? And now it's starting to really, really take off. But this is so extended that I'm actually going to be happy to take the 14 points profit. So this is basically, this turned into a 20 point trade um, with a two exit structure in a very, very easy, you know, format. Um, and that's what, you know, that's, that's, that was like my big insight as I was, 
uh, dying on the floor uh, for my food poisoning of where the real interesting opportunities lie. You know, it's, it's the vertical moves in NASDAQ to the upside offer us this, this really interesting one to you know, punch potential. Um, I don't know if anybody, any of you guys traded this right now, but uh, you know, that worked really well. Um, okay, um, good day back, new, uh, new tricks of the trade. Um, I'm still, you know, st still working on the, on the EA and, and, and the thing. I'm still trying to figure out like why, why we're, we're not taking certain trades. Um, could, be, could be my fault, but um, we're, we're getting close. We'll, we'll be there soon. Uh, in the meantime, have fun with the applet. The applet now is sitting in the uh, um, in the tools box. I'll actually I'll, I'll put the uh, I'll put the MT4 one as well. Okay, I put the MT5 one. I'll put the MT4 one as well before I uh, before I go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Everybody have a great day. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.